You've tuned in just in time to watch ambitious entrepreneurs win over the judges' hearts and money to jumpstart their business ideas. First in the Maiji Make the Pitch Arena to brave the judges' scrutiny are Go Ai Ching and Andrea Zaggio, who believe that they have revolutionized the way we present information. Hi everyone, I am Ai Ching, co-founder of PictoChat. We're a web application that helps you make information more beautiful. Um, PictoChat is a combination of Excel and PowerPoint as well. So when you do PowerPoint, you might find that it's slight based and it's not very good for if you are trying to get people to understand what you're trying to say in one minute, right? Because in PowerPoint, you click, 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 click and it's slight based. PictoChat is one page. In one minute, you can get the most essential and important information. Uh, it's also more beautiful to look at. We are also a very simple app to use. So we feel that in Malaysia, not many people are still using infographics. You might be using Prezi or um, PowerPoint, but you might not have come across infographics. And they can be really useful if you're in the school, if you're a teacher, you're a student, or you're in marketing, PR. Uh, there's so many ways for you to show your information in a much more exciting manner. So go check out PictoChat.com. That's P-I-K-T-O-C-H-A-R-T.com. Thank you. Right now, we're very excited to go into the room, meet the judges, and explain a little bit more about PictoChat. Okay, so for the presentation, we have um, a keynote that we've already put in the problem statement. We want people to understand why we try to solve this problem. We also want to demo a video of how the app works because we feel that that is how we're going to sell the product. Yeah, we really hope so. Um, we've been really working very hard on PictoChat. Uh, we've also been winning a couple of competitions and uh, we have a product that we feel has already gotten a little bit of revenue uh, and some traction, so we want to demonstrate that to the judges. Will the judges be able to see PictoChart's big picture? Stay tuned to find out. to my EG Make the Pitch with me, Aisha Sinclair. Now you've tuned in just in time to catch our enthusiastic entrepreneurs do all that they can to win over the judges' hearts and their money. Now the first to hit the pitching arena and brave the judges' scrutiny are Go Ai Ching and Andrea Zaggio, who believe that they have revolutionized the way we present and read information. We are here to make information beautiful. And this is the team that's behind um, PictoChat. So that's me, Ai Ching, for business development. And this is Andrea for technical uh, development. And together, we have graduated from China Accelerator, a Techstars affiliate program in China last year. So the problem that we're trying to solve is this. Whenever you think about information, it's likely to be something quite boring or there's a data overload. And simply, there's so much of statistics and numbers in the world today that we might not be able to comprehend them so easily. So what you're looking at on the screen is an example of a picto chart. It easily, it simplifies information. It's an eye candy, it's visually quite attractive. It's also known as an infographic. And people say that they would rather read this compared to you know, uh, PDFs, which are about 100 pages long, uh, in black and white text and just you know, Excel spreadsheets. So, the trouble is, how does an ordinary person without any design skills create something like this? That's where PictoChart can help. We're a web application. We want to make people feel like Picasso so they can turn art you know, from information. So basically, when you log into the app, what you would see is a gallery of themes that we pride ourselves in. We have over 50 pro themes now, which is what a paid user would get access to. And we pride ourselves in the creation because we work with real companies with real data in order to come up with these themes. So, so far, We've launched the pro version, which is the paid version again, two and a half months ago. We have over 17,000 users, 200 plus paid users, and 30,000 net in sales. This was two and a half months ago. And in terms of our competitors and market, we are playing in both the data visualization space as well as presentation. So you can see that each of them is really good at one uh, space, but they're not 
both good in data visualization and presentation, which is what PictoChart would like to do. And we are also, among our competitors, the first app to have monetized the platform. We would like to bring this um, presentation very quickly to an end to say that we have a team that can execute. Uh, we've launched beta in December last year, and we've already monetized the app. We've also shown traction revenue. We have a market that's proven and validated. And we also have a product that is solid and works. Looks very exciting. <laughs> Um, you obviously have a product that is already working, ready to market. Um, your competitors lack what you are trying to... Uh, you, you're trying to consolidate the visualization and presentation part together. Yep. 30,000 net sales mm. over two and a half months mm. uh, with 17,000 users. Yeah, that's right. Is that good? Um, 17,000 users because we are a freemium base, so you can use it for free. You can only access five themes. The pro uh, users get 50 themes, so they get more access to more creative themes that they can then describe, let's say, the economy or their business better. Okay, out of the 500 that you're requesting from us, 40% mm. uh, is going to customers. Yes. What do you mean by that? Um, we prefer to say customer acquisition because instead of marketing, where you, you, know, uh, you spend the money on marketing but you don't actually know your ROI, we like to say that we're spending X amount of money in order to get uh, X amount in sales back. So that's why we call it a customer acquisition process and we don't call it a marketing and sales uh, initiative. Okay. I'd like to know how, I'll go a little bit into how this yep. is being, can be used. So as a user, how do I do this? I will create something as a source and I pass it through this uh, application, you will come out the way I want it, or mm. actually have to use it like uh, I'm creating another PowerPoint chart? Um, I would say a little bit of both. So it's not completely automated. So for example, if you had a Excel uh, spreadsheet, it, the data doesn't just, you know, it, it doesn't analyze it for you. I was hoping that you would say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just go past through yeah. a black box and then things will come yeah. out. <laughs> At Magic the moment, too. not yet. And we're also not playing in the... Um, because data itself, there are so many parts, right? We are only playing at the visualization, which is all the way at the end. So for analytics, processing, uh, the rest of it, we, we actually don't... We can't build a software that can do all things. We are specializing just the presentation and uh, uh, visualization part because it's what we're good at. And also, it's a market that's really hot right now. Infographics are growing a lot in the world. Okay, how do you plan? Because uh, yep. just now you mentioned you have like 17,000 users, right? Yep. I assume these are paid and free uh, ones, right? Yeah, 17,000 are paid and free, yes. Yeah. So only 200 plus are paid users. Yep. How that's do right. you plan to convert the existing free users to yep. paid so users? So, for example, uh, we have all their email addresses mm -hmm. um, in the account. So Periodically, we send out e uh, emails to mm -hmm. tell them, not to tell them to upgrade. We do it via subtle ways. So we'll say, okay, look at this customer who has done it for their company, look for it yourself. And usually when they see uh, these kind of testimonials, they'll be quite happy themselves to do it. We haven't entered the next stage yet because we feel that it's only been two and a half months mm -hmm. that we have uh, monetized the platform. We're still learning so much from the people who are telling us um, about the product. And uh, we are doing some more marketing uh, pushes in the future. Do you feel encouraged and are you, are you feeling motivated by the reaction and, and the, the fact that they come on to you even though you're just two point two, two and a half, two and a half months, months in mm. operations? Yeah. It, would you say that this is encouraging and motivating you to, to aspire for greater numbers? Yeah. Uh, of course, certainly that yeah. is your target, right? Yeah. But do you feel that confidence? Yeah, actually, um, I, I think I can relate to a, we can relate to a very uh, personal story was that uh, we found that a lot of educators, teachers and students come to us and told us, hey, 15 US dollars per month is too much for us. Can you come up with a nicer, you know, a more affordable <laughs> pricing? And since we came up with a $30 per uh, year plan for students and teachers, we found that they have been coming by the throngs. Uh, to our website and this kind of stuff really encouraged us because we also want to make it affordable for those who can't really uh, afford it apart from uh, obviously organizations that definitely can afford like $15 per month. Yeah, yeah, we are encouraged because they are coming to us and they are asking us to work together with them. So okay, yeah. um, I want to know your projected sales because I don't think you've, I yeah. mean, for this year, for next year, for yeah. probably the next three years. Okay, uh, this year itself, we are projected to hit um, 300,000 at the moment, we're at, uh, I mean, at the end of year one, we're at uh, 
30,000 for the second and a half months and we want to keep going up obviously a hockey stick instead of staying mm. flat on the uh, on the curve and also worth noting is that because the monthly the people are actually paying on a monthly subscription technically whatever they pay for this month we already have them for next month as, oh. as long as they don't drop out and the drop out rates are not high so if we keep carrying on like that we are pretty confident that we can meet 300,000 or higher but a conserv I wouldn't say conservative but yeah an estimate would be about 300,000 without funding you're you're seeking 500,000 from us yeah um for what uh, equity um we're looking at about 25 percent to 30 percent of equity yeah. thank, okay. you. thank you thank you very thank much. you thank you so thank much you. <laughs> so i ching andrea how do you think that went in front of the judges um i think it went quite well the judges mm -hmm. were quite smiley they asked um uh, questions more about how you like to bring it into the future mm -hmm. uh, and we really hope that uh, we managed to describe PictoChat as well as possible and um, we also managed to talk about the vision which I'm really happy. So, so what are your next steps that are, mm -hmm. you know, that are going to hopefully push you, propel you towards that? Um, I think we're going to go back and um, tell the team about what's just happened and um, hopefully we come up with something even faster because uh, we are there are just two developers in the team now coming mm. up with the entire product um, and it's been kind of tough for them to uh, roll out so many new things but with new encouragement, new energy, hopefully they can do even more.